Hi, in this video we are going to see about the LM317 voltage regulator IC operation. Let's go. See, we know that fixed voltage regulator ICs, that is 7800 series and 79 series ICs, they are the fixed voltage regulator ICs. That means the output voltage will be fixed, only one voltage only it will give. For example, 7805. That is 5 volt plus 5 volt is the output of that IC. And the 7905 means minus 5 volt is the output of that IC. And uh, last two digit will be the uh, voltage levels 0, 5, 12 volt, means uh, 7812, like that. So, in this video, we are going to see what is adjustable voltage regulator ICs. So in market, apart from this one, we have some ICs whose output can be changed by doing little bit modifications so the output can be adjusted by doing minor modifications of the circuit some of the ICs are LM317, TL783, LM337 TL. that voltage levels for LM317 is 1.25 to 37 volt TL783 will be 1 volt to 125 high volt up to 125 125 volt is the output uh, in contrast to those things LM337 will give the negative adjustable voltage regulator IC that is minus 1.2 to minus 37 volt is the output of that IC and now the pin identification of LM317 uh, from the top view from left to, to right if you see it, pin 1 is the adjust and pin 2 is output and pin 3 is the input we, so center pin is the output that you have to remember it see this is a, how LM317 voltage regulator ACs are working uh, this is pretty much simple even without these two capacitors if you operate that only two resistors if you operate also it will work so as shown here the output will be 1.25 volt to 37 volt and the output load is 1.5 amps volt the output voltage is fixed using this formula, the below mentioned formula, V out is equal to V in into 1 plus R2 by R1 plus I adjust into R2. This I adjust the adjust current flows in the adjust uh, terminal, this internal current, that is it will be uh, 50 microamps typically. If you see that uh, LM317 uh, data sheet from the website, if you, you can check it out that I adjust will be 50 microamps. That is pretty much negligible. So that components are they can negligible. So output voltage is purely depends upon the input voltage multiplication of one plus R two by R one. That depends upon these two resistors. The output voltage is depends upon these two external resistors. So you fix on the resistor R one, and uh, in in place of R two you put on uh, potentiometer part. By adjusting that value, you can set the output voltage depends upon your requirement. Uh, you, uh, it can be 1.25 to 37 volt and uh, uh, input should be some 2 volt more than the output voltage then only it will give the output and this is the final we can see in this one and these capacitors are uh, for input side capacitor that is a decoupling capacitor that means uh, any high frequency analysis it will be grounded and uh, this one microfarad is the output side capacitor is uh, to avoid the fluctuations in the output waveform to get the pure DC waveform and this is on uh, here in this schematic we added the 1N4002 diode across the input and output terminals this is for a protection purpose see if any uh, rare case if suppose the output is shorted with the ground by mistake of the operator or something the whatever the energy stored in the one microfarad output capacitor that is why it should not pass through the lm317 so during those cases this diode act as a bypass it bypassing the charges and the power dissipation um, power loss happening that lm317 will be calculated using this formula v in minus v out in diode because it's a linear power supply it is a, it's not smp it's a linear power supply so the power dissipation formula will be same as the linear power supply formula and so it is advisable always uh, use some heat sink 
back side of the uh, IC for the protection purpose. These are things. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for getting more.